Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jay, the Digital Entrepreneur, and in today's video, we're going to be doing a comparison of videos and render forest. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with either of these softwares, but what they are is video creation softwares that allow you to do animated intros, outros, logo reveals, and put together ads. They really have a lot of different features. Each uh, software is slightly different. So we're going to compare them today and we're going to compare pricing. We're going to compare the different features they offer. We're going to compare render times for the video. So how long it takes to actually render the video once you've created it. And then we're also going to uh, compare their quality and their selection of templates. So what you're working with with these softwares are video templates. So you input your, your photos or your video clips and it will animate these scenes for you in a way that you would need to be a pro at either uh, After Effects or Premiere Pro uh, to be able to animate these types of scenes. This makes it uh, possible for someone with no experience to do it in minutes, but we're going to compare both softwares right after this. So I'm jumping right into screen share mode here and we are first going to take a look at videos. <clears throat> now videos I've been using for years and I have to admit I only have their very first introductory offer. I, I purchased it years ago. It was $50. But now that intro you just saw was a videos intro. So I all I did was uh, input a little bit of info and and it, it just made it for me. So I would never be able to do an animation like that on my own. But let's let's take a look at the videos platform here. So it's quite easy to create uh, a new video. You've got your templates here. You've got all different kinds of templates. You've got their newest. You've got alpha. You've got background. Now let, let's go to alpha here and see you've got you've got standalone animated uh, overlays. Now what that means is I can just I can create this, download it, and then put it over top of an existing video. I don't have to upload any video footage to videos in order to to create this. So this is one of the features that I like about uh, about videos is that you have these standalone animated uh, elements that you don't see as much in render forest. So again, this is just a Twitter, you know, an end screen, or maybe it pops up in the middle of your video. Uh, you know, and again, it's, it's a standalone item. So you can create this, download it, and put it over top of any existing video. So if you're already using an editor, you just import it, and it, uh, it'll just overlay right over top. Now, this is my personal library that I have access to, but I'm going to show you their template club templates. There are some really cool animated templates that you've got here. And as I scroll over them, you can see what they do. All right, these are animated elements that, again, unless you're a pro, you're just not going to be able to create these on your own. Okay, like this here, like this, you know, again... It's not super complicated, but it looks great, and it's very simple. So, if I was going to do a logo reveal, I would go to their logo section here and scroll through. Now, I have selected one already. I selected a simple logo reveal, and I've already timed the render time and, and done it so that you guys don't have to sit through all that. So it took me <clears throat> approximately four minutes to render a logo. So when you're when you're designing a logo reveal, it's real simple. You click here. Now in some cases you might have a secondary image, but in most cases you just have your logo that you upload. You add text to some of them. Some of them don't have the option to add text. You can change the colors. And then you have an option for audio. 
Now they only, and with my version, they only give you one option for free audio. But, you know, with the paid version, I'm sure there are a lot more. So that's really simple. And when you're done with that, you would click right here. You click, you know, if I had uploaded pictures, this would now say uh, create. And when I hit create, then it starts rendering. So it would take about four minutes to render a logo reveal. All right, so I'm going to show you now what uh, what that logo reveal looks like. Now, this is the logo reveal that I did through videos that took me about four minutes. Super simple. It was easy to make. And yeah, including design took me all of five minutes. Now, it's not the most complicated logo reveal. Uh, you know, it's certainly not an intro, a full intro, but it, you know, that took me five minutes to make and it looks a lot better than it would look had I not used videos. Now, again, there are, you know, when you, when you, when you join the template club, which I have not personally joined the template club yet, although I am seriously thinking about it, you get all these different, uh, templates, right? And there's some really cool animated features in here, guys. Look, there's 114 pages of templates to go through. So, I mean, really there's something for just about everything when you join the template club. So, now what's the template club cost is really, is the next question. Well, let's go right here and go to pricing. If you go by the month, you're looking at $37 a month, okay? Or you can pay by the year and it's three forty-seven for the year. So uh, I can't, you know, I'm not, I'm not uh, going to do the exact math off the, off the top of my head, but you're looking at probably, you know, close to four sixty for the year if you pay by the month. So you save, you know, well, I mean, it says here that you save eight hundred seventeen dollars. Uh, that isn't really accurate, but uh, they they like to make their offers look appealing. At any rate. Uh, it's a decent price. I think if you go by the month, you know, you can try it out and if you don't like it, then you can cancel. So, but really I've used videos for years and I, and I really rather enjoy it. Now the next, uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to render forest here, guys. Now render forest is similar to videos in some ways, but, uh, there's a lot of differences. There are a lot more features when it comes to render for us, but there are some major differences as well. So let's, uh, let's take a look just at the logo reveals. Cause that's kind of what I'm doing today. Cause it's the quickest, quickest way. There's some really cool logo reveals in render for us. I have to say, uh, I really like them. Now, I, the one thing I will say is there's not always as much selection as I, as I would want with all of these logo reveals, but there are a lot of different categories. It's a little bit harder to navigate than videos is. There are different sections and, you know, different categories and you can sometimes miss, but there are actually quite a few uh, logo reveals here. So, and they're really nice logo reveals too. I mean, they look very pro, you know, it's hard to say which I like better, the videos or the render forest. But I'm going to show you the Render Forest uh, logo reveal that I did myself just recently. And again, it took about the same amount of render time, about four minutes for this particular uh, logo reveal. Now, that looks great. I think that looks fantastic. Really clean, really slick, really professional looking, you know, so I really love, I really love the, uh, the options that you have here with render forest. So now, you know, the next thing again is, is pricing, right? So the, the render times are similar, the quality fairly similar though, although I would have to say, you know, render forest might have a slight edge on the logo reveals. I really like uh, just the look of them. I think they look really slick. Uh, now over here is really interesting as well. You can select uh, essentially whether you want widescreen, square, or or mobile uh, version of, of, of these templates. So 
That's another cool feature. If you know that you're going to be focusing an ad on mobile only, well, then you want to go with the mobile friendly format, right? But let's, uh, let's take a look at their pricing. So now these are the prices if you go by the year. So if you buy a yearly subscription, their pro version, which is what I have just recently subscribed to is 20 bucks a month. So you're looking at about 240 a year plus tax. All right, now that's by the month. Now, if you wanted to go with the agency version, you could easily, uh, you know, $50 a month isn't uh, an unreasonable amount uh, of money. If you're, if you're running an agency, I mean, all of the tools that this uh, site gives you really for $50 a month. Now, if we go strictly monthly, if you're going to pay by the month, then you're, this is the price you're looking at. So the agency plan is not available monthly. You have to pay by the year. The pro is $60 a month. So you're paying $40 a month more if you don't pay by the year. And essentially it looks like, I mean, a markup, you know, a substantial markup, like a 300% markup if you go, if you go by the month. So, but if you're worried about something, uh, you know, if you're worried about that, you won't like it, then you can try it out for free. Now, I'm going to show you some other features that RenderForest has. Now, this is the major difference between uh, between RenderForest and videos. They have a website creator on RenderForest. Again, you can create for free. You can create a free website that they uh, will host for you. So uh, I'm, I'm not sure. I haven't launched my website yet. I believe you even get a domain name. You might want to double check on that. Uh, I, I believe you get one domain name for free with your plan. But again, double check that because I'm not sure about that fact. But they have some really interesting uh, other type of, uh, of, of features. Um, you can really do a lot with RenderForest. It's not just about video. You can do graphics. You can do... Look, you can do 3D explainer videos. You know, like I'll just I'll just kind of run you through. So you can see these are the types of videos that you can create. You click in here. You know, you, so you select the template, you, you create something similar. So you're going to have, you know, you're going to have to create, create some presets or, or your scenes. Now, I, I don't have a ton of experience with this either. So I'm not going to go through uh, how to create these or anything, but I'm just, uh, you know, I'm just giving you an example. None of, none of these features are in videos. So these are the extra features that you get. And another really cool feature that you get is a logo design. You can design your own logos with RenderForest. So, you know, I'm going to just type in media and say, get my logo and see what comes up. So I'm not going to offer any tagline. I'm not going to offer any anything. All right, but you get all kinds of different options for logos that come up. You know, obviously, the more info you give them, the more that, that, that they can do for you. But I mean, you, you've got all these options. You can scroll down the side and it's essentially an unlimited amount of options. They have graphics, they have, you know, different fonts. They're, they're just going to keep on giving you options until you find something you like. And if you don't like it, well, you start again. You simply start again and it costs you uh, nothing you can, uh, well, I mean, you, you, with render force, you have a certain amount of credits that you use with your plans. Each plan comes with a certain amount of credits. Mine is 60 credits a month, I believe. So if I design a logo, I believe that uses up one credit. And then if I do a logo reveal, that would be another credit. So you know, you can see how if you're running an agency, you might want to upgrade to the agency package. But 
60 animated videos a month for me personally is enough. You know, I, I don't need to do 60 logo reveals in a month at this particular time. So, you know, but that's just an, another feature. You can design the logo right here on Render Forest. Then you can design a logo reveal. You can design the website. Then you can design things like infographics and, you know, exp animated explainer videos. These are, as far as I'm aware, not features that videos offers. So now I guess it comes down to, you know, who, who is my ultimate choice for the winner between videos and render forest. And well, I, I think you can tell by the way that I was talking there, probably render forest is my favorite overall tool just because it's so versatile. You could design your logo, you could design your website, you could have a great logo reveal and, and, and an intro uh, for all your videos. And, you know, you can, and then you can do explainer videos, animated explainer videos or ads right there in, in the software as well. I mean, I have so many different softwares and this kind of brings them all together. Now, it reminds me a lot of Canva.com, you know, which you can also uh, upgrade your to a paid version and it has all kinds of great uh, features, but you know, render forest, I mean, really for, for video creators is amazing. Although I have to say, I love the templates and the animations that come with videos. And I'm going to show you one, one quick thing that, that, uh, you know, you can do with videos. That's a little bit harder to do with render forest, something, a standalone animated feature like this one right here. Now, I haven't seen a lot of that kind of stuff in Render Forest. You usually have to upload a photo or video or some kind of footage and, and it, you know, will overlay that over top. Um, you know, these standalone animated elements, I, I, I do feel like videos has the edge there slightly. And as well with some of the video templates, they're more, they're definitely more involved where you can just upload a bunch of footage and it'll throw it all together for you and make it look amazing. So I'm actually considering upgrading to the template club for videos as well, because I've seen so many uh, really cool features in there. But I think, you know, if you really wanted to have a pro uh, video making toolkit, then having both of these at your disposal is really just about all you're going to need in, in terms of creation. Unless again, unless you're amazing at After Effects, but if that's the case, then you wouldn't be watching this video anyway, because After Effects is an extremely complicated software that I myself have never mastered. So at any rate, guys, if you got some value out of this video, please like and subscribe, leave a comment, and let me know which one is your favorite. I'm going to leave uh, a link for both in the description box and in the comment section. So if you do, want to try it out. You know, the, the one thing I will say about Render Forest is they have a, f a free version, uh, but there will be watermarks on everything. So if you want to just try it out and, and see how it looks even with the watermarks, uh, you know, it's pretty easy then to upgrade and, and, and re-download those without the watermarks. So, you know, give it out, uh, try for free and then, you know, see, see how you like it. But I really hope you got a little bit of value out of this guys. And Again, please like and subscribe, comment, and I'll catch you in the next video.